everyone, it's Justine and today I'm going to be using the mirror image stamp to make this really fun card. I made another video today showing you how to use the mirror image stamp exactly, just for a quick reference. And today I'm going to show you how to use it again, but I'm going to use it in an actual card setting. So I'm going to grab a panel that measures five and a quarter by four and I'm going to grab this blowing leaf stamp from So Suzy Stamps and I'm going to ink it up using some Versamark ink. What I want to do is I want to create a sunset on the autumn sky with some autumn colors and then I want to have the tree reflecting off the lake that's going to be in front of it, sort of a landscape scene. So I stamped that twice and because I can because it's the misty so it stamps in the same spot over and over again. And what's really great about that is I was able to get a really dark and fresh image. I'm going to lay down my mirror stamping tool or my mirror image stamp and I'm going to push down and stamp it right onto the mirror image stamp. This is how you're going to do a reflection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my card. I'm going to kind of turn my misty upside down because that ended up being the easiest and push down on my misty so that the tree trunk goes on the bottom. So you can see I have a image that's reflecting off the water now. I just need to actually build up my scene. Now that I have this great impression, I actually decided to make a top folding card, which meant that I just cut down the cardstock and re-stamped it on this size of a piece of paper instead. This it measures four by five and a quarter as well, it's just stamped on the long side. So to get started with my blending, I am going to go in with some spiced marmalade ink and I'm going to do some distressing. Now I ripped this piece of paper from graph paper here that came with the Misty in order to block off sort of a hillside and I'm going to use the other part that I ripped as well. So if you rip a piece of paper and have to make this sort of hillside look then you're going to have to save the other piece of paper as well that you tore off the bottom. And I'm just going in again with that spiced marmalade. I'm going in with a little bit of mustard seed and a little bit of candied apple just to darken things up. Now you want to make sure you're using a little bit thicker of paper than what I'm using now because you don't want it to get too saturated so that it actually starts to bleed through ink. Mine did work for the most part um, but it was on its last leg by the time I was finished doing my distressing. So I'm just going in with some mustard tea seed here at the top and blending it into that spiced marmalade and that candied apple that I did before. And I'm going to remove my mask that I used right now and now I'm going to do the reflection in the water. Now this I'm going to take the other part, I said to save the other part of the masking that you did so that you can put that on there now and then we're going to get started doing a similar reflection. I have to admit this card was purely experimental on my part and I really wasn't sure if this was going to turn out but I loved the way that it turned out in the end. So I wanted to darken up the bottom a little bit so I added a black soot into the mixture, another black color and I went along the sides with that just to give it a more distressed look and just to make things not as clear as it was in the actual sunset because when you have a reflection off the water it's not going to be an absolute mirror image of that. I also wanted to darken up the side of where the tree is because if you notice that my stamp didn't stamp all that great on the side there it left a piece of white and that was my fault completely in the actual stamping. I didn't put my fingers down hard enough when I was stamping it um, onto from my mirror image stamp to my paper. So I'm just going in and darkening things up now with some spiced marmalade and blending those two colors together. When you think you're happy with your look, you can take off the masking paper and see how it goes. I took a black Copic marker and went along the ripped line of the paper to create sort of a mountain look or a horizon. You need a point of the horizon where the stamp meets the horizontal stamp. I thickened it up a little bit to make it more realistic. Lastly, I just had to do my embellishment. Now this is going to be a technique where you use the Misty for masking. Now I'm going to attach some masking tape, uh, tape onto my stamp and I'm going to place my stamp as normal onto my Misty. I want to have only the first line, imagine with all your mind, stamped onto the card. So I'm going to pick up, I'm going to attach it with a magnet, pick up my stamp using the Misty. I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm going to remove the masking tape that I put on there which is blocking the first two sentiments. That ensures that only the top sentiment is actually going to stamp. And I'm going just going to wipe that stamp clean and that's that. So I'm going to attach this to a card base now and that'll be the end of my card tutorial. I chose black because I think that'll make the colors pop out the very most in the sunset scene. I think white would have been a little too bright. 
I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use the mirror image stamp in a reflection sort of mode and in a nature landscape scene. If you're interested in getting one, be sure to check out the So Susie Stamps store. I'll link to that below in the video description. And as well, I'm giving away a mini Misty, so don't forget to comment on my blog for a chance to win that and comment here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching everyone and joining me for this series and I'll continue tomorrow with some more card ideas. If you want to check out my blog on the supply list you can click up on the top. On the bottom in the middle you can click the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can click on either two videos to check out some other Misty tutorials.